we assemble for our drill this weekend, Chief Beckham and I are excited to see all of our airmen back at the wing. We hope both our DSGs and full-timers have enjoyed some extended downtime over the summer, as we purposely did not plan a July drill to give more time back to you. And we also want to thank each and every one of you for the incredible work that you've been doing to accomplish both our federal and our state missions, especially in the midst of the challenges presented by the coronavirus pandemic over the last almost 18 months. Now, as you most likely have already heard, Secretary of Defense Austin is requesting a presidential waiver to make the COVID-19 vaccine mandatory across the Department of Defense. The timeline that he's communicated for this mandate to take effect and start is no later than 15 September or sooner if the FDA issues full approval for the shot. Now at the current time, the vaccine is still voluntary, but I want to take a moment to encourage you to receive this vaccine if you have not already. Now, I personally have experienced both the coronavirus and the vaccine. I fought through the virus last fall, and then I received the vaccine when it became available to the military in early 2021. And I can tell you from personal experience that you do not want to contract this disease. And we have seen both healthy and unhealthy individuals struggle with this disease, while many have also had only mild impacts. But you do not want to put yourself at risk or your family, especially in the hardest hit category. And several of our airmen in the wing, they've lost close family members to this disease, and they have seen firsthand its devastating effects and impacts. Chief? Sir, the vaccine is the most effective and safe way to protect yourself and your families. As a military, we have embraced other vaccines that help us meet our mission objectives while remaining safe and protected from potential infectious diseases. This vaccine is no different. With potential mandate and discussions of booster shots being required soon, I encourage all of you to consider getting the vaccine as soon as possible. New cases of COVID-19 are surging across the nation, with the Delta variant being the dominant strain in the state of Florida and proving to be three times more contagious than previous strains of the virus. There have been limited mitigation strategies in public, so the vaccine is truly your best defense against the virus. And at the end of the day, this is, the mission, this is a mission readiness issue I need all of you to be ready to bring the thunder and place any place, anytime for both our nation and the state of Florida. So I urge you to please consider receiving this vaccine if you have not already. We are still awaiting guidance from higher headquarters on the rollout of the mandatory vaccine to include temporary or permanent medical exemptions. We will share that information with you as soon as we know. A few airmen have also asked about the process for a religious accommodation request to exempt a particular vaccine or multiple vaccines. Our Fighter Wing Chaplain Corps are the experts on this process and are providing updated training to our commanders. If you have questions on this, please talk to our chaplains or your unit commander. Thanks, Chief. So for more on the medical aspects of this vaccine, Please stay tuned for a short message from Major Chad Nelson. He's our very own 125th Medical Group Public Health Officer, and he's a certified infection control expert with a master's degree in infectious disease in epidemiology from the University of Florida. We must protect this house. So thank you for doing your part to help bring the thunder and bring the boom. I'm Major Chad Nielsen from the 125th Medical Group. I'm a public health officer and infectious disease epidemiologist. COVID-19 continues to be a risk to national public health and the military. The Delta variant poses a new threat that combined with lagging vaccination rates has caused a COVID-19 surge across the United States and here in Florida. Our state is responsible for nearly 25% of all new COVID cases in the United States each week, adding to our risk here at the wing. Northeast Florida has led the state in cases and hospitalizations over the last few weeks. Given the continued rise levels of COVID-19 across the nation, the Secretary of Defense has signaled that by mid-September, he will gain approval from the President to mandate the COVID-19 vaccine for all DOD members. We have all had mandatory vaccines as a routine part of our service to this country. Whether getting an annual flu shot, 
a tight point shot before deploying to Southeast Asia, we always roll up our sleeves to protect ourselves and ensure the mission can continue. And the COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective at protecting us from severe disease, hospitalization, and death. If you have questions about the vaccine, please turn to credible sources like the CDC, NIH, hospital websites, or official DOD sources. We are awaiting the next steps on how the mandatory vaccine rollout will work, but I urge you to get ahead of the mandate and get vaccinated now if you haven't done so already. Protect yourself, your family, and your wingmen.